What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to First Bite Burgers. Hey, I'm here downtown uh, Detroit. You're just behind me, Love is on me. Let's go inside, see what kind of hamburgers they got. presentation and see what this thing looks like so I'm gonna start off with these fries first man I love the old school bowl that you would get at like your grandmother's house man the fries is hot and crispy I mean I do love this little unique presentation even in the whole the whole restaurant itself has got like a like a whole upscale old school kind of uh, kind of uh, pizzazz to it uh, so I'm loving the fries man they are hot and crispy I did taste one so let's get into this hamburger so I love the plate, man. The plate is actually kind of old school uh, feel to it as well. It's on a brioche bun. It's got uh, caramelized onions on it. They got a Wisconsin cheese sauce that you guys can see drizzled down the side. They also got a special sauce that um, they didn't tell me too much about, but I'll try and find out and see what we got. Um, uh, the lettuce looks fresh, man. I do like that. It's a proprietary blend of beef that these guys are using. Brisket, short rib, and Chuck is the blend. They are using it. It's smelling great. I can't wait to take the first bite of this thing and see what it tastes like. So, all right, let's get right to it. It's nice and warm and hot in my hand. I can tell it's gonna be a messy bite, but I can't wait to get into this thing, man. So, hey, here we go. First bite's the best bite. Thing I got was off the bite was the caramelized onions and then the sauce and the, the cheese came in as well and then the beef it's coming together pretty good so you guys stay tuned for my after action review and I'll see y'all next time What's going on everybody? Thanks for sticking around for my after action review. Uh, this review is of the uh, Burlington Hamburger at Lovers Only uh, downtown Detroit. Um, very different hamburger, man. Um, if you're looking for a classic ham all-American hamburger taste, the Burlington is not going to be it. Uh, There's definitely uh, a hamburger stands out and it is unique is because of the Wisconsin cheese that they use, the beef blend that they use, and they had like a, a, a Dijonage uh, uh, sauce that they also used on it. And uh, what made it, another thing made it unique, the taste of it, it reminded me of uh, mac and cheese, believe it or not, man. Um, funny to say, it did have like a cheesy mac and cheese kind of taste to it. Um, it came together pretty good. Like I said, if you're looking for like that all-American beef hamburger taste, you're not going to get it with this hamburger, man. It'll be a thumbs down for that. But as far as its uniqueness, you know, definitely a thumbs up as far as, you know, this hamburger being very unique. Um, another thing that I like about this restaurant was the whole atmosphere of it, man. From the from the bowls to the plates to the to the floor to the uh, the staff, man. Everything had this real nice old school feel to it. On this it. hamburger, all the toppings were fresh. The uh, the the bun was fresh, man. Nice soft bun. I did like that. Uh, the beef blend, uh, you know, that they used was great, man. I had that cooked medium. The, um, the juiciness of it was 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 just about spot on, man. Another thing the, uh, that was cool about this hamburger, but some people might not like, is that it was very messy. It was very messy from the first bite to the last bite. This was a messy eat for a hamburger, I apologize, man. you guys. This uh, video was a little short. 
Uh, I was having some technical difficulties, but uh, hey, that's never going to stop me from filming and producing some type of footage for you guys. I'm going to keep smashing hamburgers, man. I'll see y'all next time. Stick around. Swerve, switch